tunnel vision where I saw the future. I saw my daughter with her kids someday. And I wasn't there, you know. And it's hard. I had never smoked. I had no idea that someone who hadn't smoked was even at risk for lung cancer. I had most of my left lung removed, the lower lobe, and that was followed by four treatments of adjuvant chemo. I had asked my very, very positive and optimistic oncologist if it was time to get my affairs in order. He said yes. Before I had started the trial, my left lung in particular was completely filled in like a blizzard with cancer and now it was almost all gone. And it was at that point in time that I just burst into tears and all of a sudden my, my life which had taken such an unexpected, dramatic and tragic turn felt like a fairy tale. This is a self-portrait. This is right after my surgery and chemotherapy 10 years ago. It's a big scar from my lobectomy. The fact that I now rely on clinical trials for treatment. It's been up and down, and I still have a lot of cancer in my lungs. It's small, it's stable, but I've been there before, and when it starts to move, it can just sort of bloom, you know, like mold or a mushroom. So there is some anxiety. This is my studio, but it's also my little project, my little shop called the House of Redemption for Second Chance Clothes. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> but I also think life and death are close in a way that is not just negative. I mean, I've, I've come to feel that they really are part of one cycle. <laughs>